find the circumcenter of the triangle with vertices P minus 1, 2, Q minus 6, pi, and R, phi, comma, 3. So let's first plot these points. So say uh, P is negative 1, 2. So P comes here. This is your point P. Okay. Q is negative 6, 5. So it comes here. This is negative point Q. And R is 5, comma, 5, comma, 3. So this is 5 and this is 3. So this is your point R. So let us draw a triangle. So this is a triangle PQR. Okay, and we want to find a circumcenter. Now, what is circumcenter? Circumcenter, I have this is my third or the fourth video on circumcenter. It's a point which is at the same distance from all the three vertices. So, let me uh, write this definition of circumcenter. So, circumcenter, circumcenter is equidistant, that's the technical word, or at the same distance, equidistant from all the vertices of the triangle. So I'm writing all the vertices. Now, if a point is at the same distance from all the uh, all the vertices, you can draw a circle uh, from. You can take that as a center, and you can draw a circle, and that circle would pass would pass through the what uh, through the vertices so in other words uh, that circle circumscribes or uh, circumscribes this triangle so I'm not going into that detail so uh, let's say we can just say let C be the circumcenter let C comma X comma Y that's what we want to find we want to find the coordinates of that point C which is the circumcenter so we don't know a circumcenter, circumcenter, circumcenter. Now a circumcenter can be either inside the circle or in the interior of the circle. It can be on the on the on the triangle. Sorry, a circumcenter can be inside the triangle, can be on the triangle or outside the triangle. So this seems to be an obtuse angle triangle. This angle looks to be more than 90 so the circumcenter of an obtuse angle triangle is outside the triangle if it's an acute angle triangle an acute angle triangle is a triangle in which all the angles are acute angles in an acute angle triangle the circumcenter is always inside the triangle and so you can now understand in a, on a right angle triangle or in a right angle triangle the circumcenter is in fact the midpoint of the hypotenuse. I've made a video on that. You can have a look at that. So here I can make a guess. It is somewhere in the exterior. So I'm making a guess. Say it comes somewhere here. Okay. So this is my, I, this is my guess. So the circumcenter comes somewhere here. This is x comma y. Okay. So what I just said is, they are at the same distance from. Uh, I'm not sure does it look so this is my guess so this is the distance of vertex P from the <coughs> excuse me from the circumcenter so this distance is equal to this distance and this doesn't look good but I'll I'm saying I'm making a guess okay so what we are saying is this point is in such a way uh, that all these distances of this CP or CR is equal to CP is equal to CQ. CQ looks quite big, uh, but uh, this is only the definition. So as equidistant, we can say this implies CP, which is the distance from C to P, is equal to uh, C, CQ is equal to CR. This is the definition. Now this implies you can square all of them. 
So the CP squared is equal to CQ squared is equal to CR squared. So now we can use Pythagoras using Pythagoras using Pythagoras or Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras theorem. CP squared using the coordinate of P are negative 1, 2. So I hope you know Pythagoras. If you join this with a right angle triangle, you can use CP as the distance or the distance formula. You can use Pythagoras or the distance formula are one and the same. I can say CP squared is x, your yeah, coordinate of P is negative 1, negative 1, 2. So using the distance formula or using Pythagoras, you can say it is x, take away negative 1, which is x plus 1 squared plus uh, y minus 2 squared. The distance formula, those who know the distance formula, let me write the distance formula. So the distance formula for, um, for two points having coordinates x1, y, x1, y1, x2, y2, the distance formula is like this, square root of, this is nothing but Pythagoras theorem, so this is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is the distance formula in some of the books. Uh, I don't like this formula, but because this is nothing but the Pythagoras here. So I would say Pythagoras or the distance formula. So in this case, your x2 is x and your x1 is negative 1. That's why I did x take away negative 1. So it's x plus 1 squared. Okay. So I can now say cq squared, cq squared. The coordinates of Q are negative 6, 5. So I can say CQ squared is X plus 6 squared plus uh, Y. Let me drag this down. I want to see this. So let me place it here so that I can see. So uh, my pin is here. So this is Y minus 5 squared. <coughs> The same way CR squared would be X minus 5 squared plus Y minus 3 squared. So I've written CT squared, CQ squared, and CR squared. So let me write. Now we know that CP squared is equal to CQ squared. Therefore, I can say X plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to x plus 6 squared plus y minus 5 squared. So using uh, the formula of perfect square or x plus 1 times x plus 1 is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so you should not write x squared plus 1 squared. That's one of the common mistakes that students do. This is y minus 2 times y minus 2, which is y squared minus 4y plus 4. This would be x squared plus, this is how I do. I multiply this two. Now, this is called the first term. This is the middle term, and this is the last term. When you're expanding a perfect square, this is the first term. The middle term is this times this, and then double it. So 6 times x is 6x, and double of 6x is 12x, plus 36, plus y squared. The middle term is multiply this 2, which is minus 5y, times 2 is minus 10y, plus square of y, or negative 5 is 25. So let us do the cancellations. So x squared will get cancelled with x squared, y squared will cancel get cancelled with y squared. So let me bring back, say, a different color. So this simplifies to 2x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 12x minus 10y plus 35. So 30 plus 20 is 50 plus 11, which is 61. So I want to make this a linear equation. So 
I'm going to take away 12x from this side, add 10y to this side. So I have to do the same thing, minus 12x plus 10y. Try to do without the calculator. I, wa I want to get rid of this 5. So take away 5 from this side. So take away 5 from this side. So this becomes, so what gets cancelled? So this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So now you're left with, this is minus 10x plus 6y. Now the, the way I'm doing, why I'm doing like this is you make less mistake. So 60 minus, 61 minus 5 is 56. Or 56 plus 5 is 61. So this is your first equation. So this implies I don't like this negative 10x. So I'll make this. Uh, I have to change this to. Uh, let, let me leave it like this. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this is your first equation. So we need two equations. So this is my first equation. This is my first equation. Okay. So now what's the second equation? So let me copy this. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Oops. I can copy it. Yeah, I can copy like this. This is a cool thing about using a smart board. I'm going to copy this, paste this here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use CQ and CR now. So I can say X plus X squared plus Y minus Phi squared. While I'm writing this, I'm going to say CQ squared is equal to CR squared. So from that, I'm writing this is equal to X minus Phi squared plus Y minus 3 squared. So let us expand it. So this is x squared plus 12x plus 36 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. So let us do the cancellation. So x squared, y squared cancels with x squared, y squared. So what is left is 12x minus 10y plus, this is 50 again 61, the same thing. This is minus 10x minus 6y plus uh, 25, so this is 34. Hopefully, I'm not doing some silly mistakes, so let us see. So this is plus 10x. So I'm going to add 10x to both sides. I'm going to add 6y to both sides. I'm going to take away 61 from both sides. I want to make a, uh, a equation of two variables. So this becomes, this is 22x minus 4y, so this and this gets cancelled, uh, this and this gets cancelled, and this and this gets cancelled, is equal to, so 34, I'll use a calculator now, so menu 34 minus 61 is negative 27, this is negative 27, so these are two equations, okay, so let me bring this equation I can. I'm going to, oops. Yeah, I think so. I can do it now. Copy and paste. Hopefully I can do it. Paste. Yeah, that's fine. So these are the two equations. So this is equation two. So I'm going to use a calculator to solve this equation. Go to your uh, equation menu, where is my equation? Yeah, equation uh, simultaneous to unknowns. So the first equation is minus 10x, so minus 10 under A. Let me drag this slightly here. Yeah. Under B, you'll put 6, and this is 56. So this is equation 
1 and equation 2 is 22 negative 4 and negative 27 and then go for solve okay so this is my guess was not good so this is 0 0.0.67 0 okay okay so the point would be your x coordinate is 0 0.67 am i right or 31 out of 31 31 over 46 0 0.67 in 2 dp your x coordinate is 0 0.67 and your y coordinate is uh, y coordinate is 10.46 okay so your y coordinate is 10.46 in 2 dp okay so the coordinates so your uh, circumcenter circumcenter my guess was not good which is 0 0.67 and 10.46 okay so yeah the graph 0 0.4 0 0.67 would come here so it is somewhere I didn't have a scale up to 10 so that is your circumcenter 